know this, I've always wondered about the Crusades uh -huh. as far as, because my understanding of it's vague and yes, general. Um, part of was, would you say the West was justified, the Christians were justified in the way they did, or was it like, I, I, my thought process was that they needed to defend themselves and then they might have gotten into retribution and maybe gotten into over retribution regarding the Muslims. Uh -huh. Okay, the Crusades were called, the first crusade was called in 1095 by Pope Urban II. And uh, the, the Christians arrived from Europe in Jerusalem in 1099 and conquered it. And there was a, uh, and they conquered more territory in, the, in that area, ultimately holding it uh, for 200 years until 1291 when Outremer was conquered, the last crusader kingdom. And so uh, from 10, we're talking about a period of 200 years. There were many crusades. Uh, I wrote a book about essentially the first crusade called The Politically Incorrect Guide to Islam and the Crusades. And uh, in it, uh, I examined the lead up to the crusades because a lot of people ascribe all the tensions between the West and the Islamic world to the crusades. And they say it all started with that. In reality, there were 450 years of jihad before there was ever a crusade. And what had been up to that point, half over half of the Christian world, was conquered and Islamized, including what is now the heart of the Islamic world, you know, like Egypt and Syria and so on. No, conquered, conquered violently by armies, uh, 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 working according to the teachings that I've outlined today. And they, uh, overwhelmed over half of, 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 of and what was known as the Christian world. Now, the Crusades were called in response to, not in response to that, not in response to those 450 years of jihad that uh, swept over over half of the Christian world, but they were called rather in response to some particular things. The Byzantine Empire, the Eastern Roman Empire, centered in Constantinople, had controlled a very great expanse of that area, but were... Uh, pushed back and suffered some very heavy losses, notably at the Battle of Manzikert in 1071, which was a disaster for the Byzantines, and they lost control of uh, almost all of Anatolia, which is what is now Turkey, which had been the heart of the empire. And the Byzantine emperor, although there was a lot of bad blood between him and the West, because he was the Eastern Roman Empire emperor, he was the, the Roman emperor, going all the way back in an unbroken line to those guys, the Caesars, you know, and all that business. But the, he was not recognized as such in the West. And there was a lot of bad blood because of that. And then there was the split in the church between the Pope of Rome and the Patriarch of Constantinople, which was very recent at that time. There was a lot of bad blood because of that. But despite those two things, he appealed to the West for help, and particularly to the Pope. And the Pope called the crusade in response to that appeal for help. Also, there had been a great deal of persecution of Christians in the Holy Land. The Caliph al-Hakim, at the early part of the 11th century, had destroyed the Church of the Holy Sepulchre, although he ordered it built back later. And he uh, closed over, uh, over a thousand churches in the Holy Land and uh, uh, massacred a lot of Christians. And so this was the run-up to the, first, the calling of the First Crusade. The idea was only to secure the Holy Land for uh, Christian pilgrims. There had never been envisioned originally any kind of taking of land, although that ultimately did happen. And the Crusaders did a lot of things, as I mentioned before, that cannot be excused, and I'm not interested in excusing them and never have. But in the main, it was a late, defensive, and small-scale response to a great deal of political aggression based on jihad doctrine that had preceded the Crusades. And on that basis, I think there's nothing for anybody in the West to ever apologize for about the Crusades in that regard. They were not some sort of proto-imperialist, racist exercise such as they are portrayed today. Any more questions? Thank you, Mr. Spencer. Thank you.